This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform a CT chest on COVID-19 patients in a safe and quick manner. It's very important to strictly adhere to the infection control procedures outlined by your hospital, but at the same time, economize the use of PPEs since there is a significant global shortage. The key aim should be to minimize the time the patient spends in the scan room, but also minimize the radiographer contact with the patient and the contaminated surroundings. So what exactly do you need? Now, the radiology department needs to make sure that all the CT radiographers are trained and fit tested and have performed multiple practice mock drills of CT. Personal protective equipment should include a gown, a mask, face shield or goggles. Always remember to sanitize gloved hands after every contact with the contaminated surroundings. Now ideally two donned CT radiographers would be needed to perform the examination but can also be done by a single radiographer technique. Now on receiving the request, confirm the patient details and location. Patient details should include patient name, patient ID and patient date of birth. Inform the caller that the patient should be kept masked throughout the transport and as well as during the patient's time in the scan room. Then make sure that the CT machine has completed the downtime which is approximately recommended at 30 to 60 minutes. You can do this by either looking at the uh, radiology information system or keeping a departmental logbook of when the CT was last used. Then confirm the time of the CT examination with the nurse or the physician requesting the CT chest. Two CT radiographers will don the PPE. The first CT radiographer will receive the patient. He will then position the patient on the CT scanner while the second CT radiographer with the clean PPE stays in the control room. The first CT radiographer then doffs while the clinical team stays outside the scan room. The second CT radiographer then performs the examination after the examination is complete. The second CT radiographer then enters the scan room. The second CT radiographer then allows the clinical team to re-enter the scan room. They then transfer the patient. Once the patient leaves the CT scan room, the second CT radiographer then proceeds to clean the machine. The CT radiographer also informs the cleaning team to perform a deep clean of the CT scan room and then will maintain a downtime of approximately 30 to 60 minutes for room decontamination and passive air exchange. This method can be modified where only a single CT radiographer needs to don the PPE, while the second CT radiographer performs the scan and stays in the control room console throughout the procedure. During the scan, the donned radiographer waits outside the scan room along with the clinical team. Once he is informed that the scan is complete, he then re-enters the scan room along with the clinical team and transfers the patient. Once the patient leaves the scan room, the radiographer then wipes the CT scan machine and doffs. He then informs the cleaning team to perform a deep clean of the room and then maintains a 30 to 60 minute downtime. Now the documents of both these techniques that shows the step-by-step -step instructions are available for download in the links in the video description below. Take care, be safe and thank you.